I don't know how to start to off, but I'm just saying, wow. You should clap up for yourself. Give it up, guys, for yourself. Give it up, 2015. Give it up. <laughs> President, members of the faculty, parents, guests, and graduates, please have no fear. I'm well aware that one day of high, such a high excitement, what you require first and the foremost of any speaker is brief tea. I should never fail you in this respect. <laughs> first of all, I want to start off by saying good evening to all of you, and we are highly appreciated your attendance tonight. I spent days and weeks trying to think of what it is to like to share with you in this special evening. What words of wisdom I could like, possibly impart what bites of knowledge I have obtained during these four, like four years, or what I could share with you, or what I could tell you, or where I come from. And after a careful deliberation and consideration, I come to the conclusion that I have absolutely so many things to tell, but unfortunately, I can't because of time. <laughs> if I may, if I may uh, my fellows, my name is Abdul Malik Al Zahrani, and I am from Saudi Arabia, a community health science major and an international student at Concordia University. I represent the first graduates from a group of Saudi students who enrolled at Concordia a few years ago. And many more Saudis here since they enrolled and will be graduating in fewer and a future years. Basically, I realized that I'm walking away with a degree and health major from Concordia University. And I cannot compose a simple graduation speech. Someone needs to explain to me how I can complete five years being in state and, and being in student college and I live in, here and capable, and cap I'm sorry, and capable of delivering a simple speech of happiness. I'm here to proud to be an international student at Concordia University. I could stay up all night here telling you stories about the experience that I had at Concordia, funny or excited, but it's not what it is all about tonight. Today is the day to celebrate of the accomplished of the student, the proud to the family members, with the friends, the beloved one, and totally the accomplished of Concordia faculty and staff member. I come to, I've come to a point that Concordia has given me the confidence, the belief in myself to move forward in my life. Concordia has been, always been to the, the motivation to her students, not less to be there for you when your needs has been asked. The question that I've asked myself all the time, did I attain my goals as a college student? Ladies and gentlemen, yes, that is definitely my answer. If I'm allowed to say on behalf of all my, my friends and students at Concordia, native speaker or international who are graduating or still on their way to be here, if you are made the choice to be in this school, then you, know, you have to hear this. You are on the right path. You are on the right path. And you are going to succeed. And you'll reach your goal sooner or later. I am here especially to thank everybody who had me a part of his life. Or a family who faded me are their own son. Or the school who made me a new home and my long journey in here. None of the members of my family, to be honest, are uh, able to attend this big time of my life. But uh, you are here, guests and friends and family. And um, by giving me the chance to stand up in here and express my feelings by itself, it's enough for me to thank the Lord for it. And the people who took my hand to all my journey to be here. Graduate student, listen to this carefully. Be proud of what you achieved and thank the Lord for where you are right now and where were you before. And let me say this, you made it. And give it up again for yourself, you made it. I am so happy to stand here to tell you as a friend or brother or family, congratulations. Today is the new day to build on your success. I have no doubt that will all of you will. My journey in education has shaped me as an individual and an educator. I am thankful for every experience and opportunity I have been through. The knowledge that I have gained about the profession will stay with me. And when I become a educator, I have a deep understanding of what it takes to be a teacher or student or professional pers person. And now through my experience, I am ready and excited for what the profession has to offer me and what I have to offer to the profession. In the end, 
I would be honored to give a big and a huge thank to the president of the school, Dr. Tom, for his kindness and generosity. And uh, I just want to remind you one thing. Do you remember the, um, the meeting, the, uh, the board meeting of the students? You gave me the 20 bucks for the, par the parking tickets. <laughs> I might, I might, I might need it today. I might need it today. And a big thanks to my queen lady. I hope she is here tonight to hear me. A big thanks to my queen lady, vice president, Dr. Chatman, who... <laughs> who always be my queen and lifesaver. <laughs> always, always, no doubt, no doubt. And if your husband here tonight to hear this, please let him know this from me. He is one of the luckiest men to have an angel on earth. Not to forget my, my, my friends and my guests and my, my people, not to forget that the big thanks go to my support people, Ms. Melissa Gritchen, the head of the Academic Advising Center. Please give it up for her, guys. And to my both favorite instructor ever that I ever had as a role model and like my father in here in America, the two instructors, Dr. Eric Lamotte and Professor Rick Benson. Please give it up for them. <laughs> Professor Rick, I know you heard this. I know you heard this. You should be proud and I'm proud to be one of your students. And a big thanks for my best instructor that he has the one of the largest heart in the world, if I could say. Please, if he's here, please stand up. Professor Matthew Ryan. Please. Please. If he is here, stand up and here. Thank you. Thank you so much for your understanding, for your kindness, for your attitudes at Howard and Arts. And you still owe me 50 bucks. So that's a total of 70 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> and a big thanks go to the International Student Office for their efforts, not to mention because they've been always there for us. Thank you for uh, Mr. Tom and Tiffany and the head of the uh, Student uh, International Office, uh, Dr. Cassie. And all of my classmates and friends that I had to get to know to, the chance to get to know to, thank you everybody and thank you for everything that you have done for me. And guys, it's not a sentimental moment, but uh, by just talking right here, my family is watching, watching me actually from uh, abroad, overseas. And at least I can do for them because I'm left-handed to be honest with you. They cannot be able to attend this event. So I wrote something for them, if you could allow me guys. And I know they're watching this right now. I actually give them this. I delegate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dad and Mom. I know you're watching me. Don't cry. I know you're going to cry. Don't cry. Thank you everybody for everything. In the end, please stand up on your feet and give it up for yourself to all the graduates. Please stand up on your feet and give it up for yourself. 2015. And thank you everybody and God bless all of you.